What's up, Hyperfast Nation? On this episode of the show, I sat down with a wholesaler, flipper, real estate investor, and agent. Uh, he is back on the show for his second time. He generates leads in a very, very specific way that is beneficial to all investors and real estate agents. Welcome back to the show, Matt Fullerton. What's up, Matt? Welcome to the show. How are you doing today? Hey, buddy. I'm good. How are you, man? Good. Well, I'm excited to have you on for the second time on the Hyperfast Podcast. Uh, the last time we did this was right around the start of COVID. So um, it was episode 149. So if you're listening to this, um, go back and uh Check out episode 149 as well. But Matt, why don't you give people a, a little recap about how you got started in real estate? Sure. Yeah. I um, So I got started in real estate in about 2015. I um, actually was, I've been in sales my, my whole life, uh, my whole adult life. I was in the car business. I was in private equity. Kind of moved through those businesses for a long time. And I actually just happened to have a friend who worked at a, one of the larger home buying companies in the area. And said, hey, they need uh, salespeople over there. Um, and you're a good salesperson. You want to give it a shot. And, you know, I did. And it was a it was a great move because I learned a lot. I um, was always the number one, the number one acquisitions guy there. I got promoted against my will a couple of times and uh, eventually decided to leave to after a couple of years to start just investing on my own. And I've been doing that ever since. And uh, I, I think what's unique about what you do and uh, something that real estate agents can benefit from, something that wholesalers can benefit from, investors, is you've got a proven track record of generating leads, getting deals done without spending time uh, cold calling, which a lot of people, they, they know it works, but they won't do it, uh, and, and without spending money. And it's a lot of people don't have money when they, to do it when they start. So how how have you done it? How how are you getting these free leads? Well, when I left my when I left my job, I was like, okay, you know, I no longer have a job. I don't have income. I don't have insurance. I don't have anything like that. Like I have to find a way to you know have savings that I need to be able to live off until I build my business. And I had assumed, you know, that it would take a few months to get the income back to where I was used to, and then build it up. Um, I think I underestimated myself a little bit, but I um, I was really against. I learned from watching my company I worked for almost go under trying to scale to a national level with giant marketing budgets and huge overhead they had you know they were paying you know 10 15 sales people plus different layers of managers plus 500k a month in marketing it was just I just watched that bird and hang over them constantly and how stressful it was just to try to break even I said I do not want to do that so my first thought was you know hey how how do I get deals without having to spend a bunch of money and I thought, who has deals? Who knows? Who sees all the houses? Who's always looking at properties? Real estate agents. So I was already a real, I was already a licensed agent, but I've I've never shown a house. I, I've never, uh, I've never ever uh, written a listing agreement, anything like that. I was just an agent for, for purposes of you know MLS and and just so because I thought I was going to do some of that stuff. Um, first thing I did was go to my own brokerage and start talking to people there and say, hey. When you guys see these houses that are ugly, you don't want to go in. They got mold. You know, there's there's all kinds of issues. I want to buy those houses, and I'll make it hassle free. I'll make it easy. Um, send them to me, and we'll do these transactions real easy. So a couple of those started to trickle in. They started to say, "Hey, Matt, will you come look at this?" And after I successfully closed on a couple, I was they were like, you know, those people would keep coming back to me because they knew the transaction was going to be easy. They weren't going to have to do a bunch, and they don't even have to do all the same paperwork. So when it worked for my brokerage, I started going to other brokerages and saying the same thing. But what I found was it was hard to get people to trust me right off the bat who weren't part of my brokerage who didn't know me. So I started offering people, I started offering to pay people. I said, hey, look, bring me a deal that I purchase and it's off market and I'll give you, uh, start out with a grand, I'll give you $1,000 at closing. And that started moving the needle a little bit. I started getting a few more deals there. Um, and then as time's gone on, I've increased my, my referral fee amount and I've reached a lot more agents. And now I'm at the point where, I mean, agents call me every day. Remember when we were sitting there talking about our, uh, when we were getting ready to do our meetup, I had an agent texting me about a, uh, about a deal that they wanted me to look at. Um, I actually got that deal by the way. So I, oh, nice. 
Yeah, I actually got I actually got that deal. So I learned about I learned about like how how important it is to build a big network. Um, went to a lot of meetups, met a lot of agents that way. Um, I also learned how important it is to let people know what you're doing because if people don't know what you're doing, mm. don't want, don't know you want to buy houses. Why would they call you and say, "Hey, come buy this house"? So right. I made it a point to always be letting people know what I'm doing and what I want. What um, if if you're a real estate agent out there listening to this and you know you're not doing wholesaling, not doing flipping, like what are some things that you can take away um, or apply either to you know, make money off deals for you that wouldn't be, you know, a viable listing or to get leads, you, you know, the same methodology that, that could be listings or buyer leads. Yeah. So if you're an agent, um, I mean, you're already plugged into a, a network, you know, chances are you're part of a brokerage or part of a big team. Like if you're part of EXP, like Dan and I, you have a giant network of people, a giant resource to, uh, to connect with. And even if you're part of another brokerage, even a smaller mom and pop brokerage, like I used to be, there's still plenty of agents there who have a lot of community ties, who know a lot of houses and see a lot of people. And those are great places to start talking to them about, about, about deals. Um, also, you know, a lot of real estate agents, they get friends, family, everyone calls them to come look at houses and you're going to see houses that ain't pretty. I mean, the houses hmm. I buy have mold, fire damage, water damage, I mean, everything you can imagine. I've seen, I've seen everything, including dead bodies in houses before. So <laughs> you're going to, you're going you're gonna to see quite a bit of uh you're going to see quite a bit of ugly houses and there's a lot of agents who don't want to touch them, who get a listing appointment. They go out there and see this house and they don't even want to go in the house. I was just mentioning to Dan, the deal I got, the agent called me and said, I'm not going in this house, Matt, come down and take a look at it, but I'm not stepping foot inside this house. I said, okay. I got all excited. As soon as I hear that, as soon as I hear, Oh, it's too ugly. It's to tear it out. It's really nasty. I'm there. So we, uh, so the best way to do it, if you're an agent is just for, start with your network. Start and then let people, again, let people know what you're doing. Go on social media. Social, Facebook is free. Instagram is free. Go on I mean, go on there and just say, hey, look, I'm buying houses. I'm doing this. Hey, here's a picture of a house I'm flipping. Here's a picture of a house I looked at. Just constantly, every day, let people know what you're doing. I promise it sounds cheesy, but it works. Yeah, I think, I think uh, you do a really good job of constantly posting on social media that, you know, you're looking for deals, looking for houses. I think sometimes real estate agents get afraid to do that because they think they're going to, you know, be over posting, but or piss people off. And I, I mean, right. The thing, the thing that they don't realize is only a couple percent of your followers actually see it. So if you, you know, if, if you do it like 10 times then maybe you, maybe you go from 2% to 20% or 25% that actually see it um, because the, the way this social media networks typically work is like they'll, they'll show it to a different, you know, one yeah. or two or three or four percent each time. So algorithms. Yeah, they um yeah, it's and also and if you do annoy some people, so what? They can unfollow you. There's an unfollow button. There's an unfriend button. If someone hates that you're trying to be successful, then you do you really want to be friends with that person anyway? Like that's probably not someone you want to be hanging out with in the first place. So if you get a little annoyed, if people get a little annoyed, sorry, but unless they're paying your bills, it's not something you should care about. Yeah, I I think the the cool thing is that uh, that, that agents maybe don't realize is like the same way that you're able to get investor deals, wholesale deals from real estate agents, right? By, by taking leads from them that, you know, might, that wouldn't, that would not turn into a listing, right? Yeah. Cause they just, it's because the seller doesn't want to list it. Right. The same way that, you know, you, you've been able to do that. Real estate agents can, go to investors and take the, take the deals where the house needs some work, but it's not like so yes. terrible or the situation is not so distressed that they're just willing to, to sell it at the price that, you know, someone like you needs. Right. So, yeah. so basically they're a willing seller. They're just not motivated enough to be a good candidate for you. Right. So like investors and wholesalers are going to get these, these leads of people that want to sell that yep. lots of them that, that aren't a good wholesale investor candidate, but they would be a great listing candidate. So I think that's, you know, absolutely. one of the ways real estate agents can benefit from the same strategy when you, if you kind of flip it is to, to, to do the inverse of what you do. 
Oh, agents should. If I was an, if I was, if I, if I had to switch, if I had to go and say, hey, I have to. If some law came about where I had to be an agent for a year, you know, I couldn't do any more investing in myself. The first thing I'd do is reach out to other people like me and say, hey, send me all your, all your list, all your leads that don't work for you. I'll try to get them listed, and I'll pay you a twenty-five percent, you know, referral fee on each one. So. I've seen that work many, many, many times. Um, another thing I did early on was go to other investors and say, "Hey, send me your leads that that you know you haven't that you're not working. They're either dead or in nurture. You know, they're they're kind of on a on a drip. You know, they have they have marketing going to them, but it's like a random email here and there. People you haven't been able to reach. Let me go after these leads, see if I can make a deal out of them. If I can, great. We'll split the profit. And you didn't do any work. If I don't do anything, you're right back to where you started. It doesn't matter." And if I was an agent, I would just I would do the same thing. I'd go to investors. I'd go and start asking, "Hey, what leads do you have that you don't want that I can work?" And then it's passive income for the investor. If you give them a bunch of dead leads and they get three listings out of it and sell them, you get twenty five percent referral fee on each one. You know, it could be ten, fifteen grand right there. Right, and just just so people can understand the potential of this, like how many how many deals a year are you on the wholesale investing side? Are you doing through basically this networking and and you know organic social media posting like how many how many how many deals will that generate you this year i'm tracking 99 this year <laughs> so i need to get that i need to bump that up to i need to bump that up one because if, if i finish with 99 deals i'm gonna be so pissed off man but All right, yeah, I'm well, tracking this, this uh this podcast is gonna air uh, right up right around the time with a month to go so that's definitely enough time for you to if someone's listening to this and has a deal for you, for you to Bring do it. one, yeah. right? What, <laughs> what, what areas can you, can you do deals in? I can do deals. I mean, well, if it's like a vacation rental, I mean, anywhere, if it's a good vacation rental, but if we're talking about my primary market, I'm looking at the DC and Baltimore metros. So I buy North of Baltimore, all the way to the PA line, um, West out to Frederick, Maryland, South to Fredericksburg, Virginia, all of DC, all of Nova, all of the Western shore of Maryland. All right. So if you're listening out there, you have a deal that, that, uh, you can't sell or the seller doesn't want to list. Um, how should they, how should they send it to you, Matt? They can, uh, they can get in touch with me on social media. I'm just Matt Fullerton on Facebook. Uh, they can email me, uh, Matt at chesshousehunters.com and I can, I can, send you that the the spelling and everything um, they can email me they can call me they can reach out on social media a lot of different ways all right let's switch gears for a minute or two and uh talk about what what you uh just launched what you're doing new and, and how you're going to be helping real estate agents at exp yeah i'm excited about that man because it's it's something that we've I wanted to do for a long time. It's kind of is do more a little more training, a little more coaching. I find I, I enjoy it. So um, when we started talking about joining EXP, you know, a natural fit was, hey, why don't we bring the agents on our team in and give them this training so they don't so they're not you know one trick ponies. They're not just listing agents. They're not just buyers agents. They can invest too. They can help investors. They can you know they can build their own wealth because ideally you know what is I mean everyone gets into real estate to to get financial freedom at some point, right? I mean, that's what I think that's what everyone who's serious about it wants to do. So um, I'm excited to be building out some training for real estate agents to teach them how to invest and how to get leads and how to do this themselves. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited as well. Cause I know, I know you've had tremendous success with your approach on the investing side, um, you know, working closely with real estate agents. Now you're going to be able to work with more real estate agents, more markets. Uh, the people that join your group specifically are going to get access to your training on, on how to, do, you know, how to be a successful agent investor, work with investors, do more investor type deals. Um, you know, so they get all of that plus, yeah. plus the, the normal benefits of being at EXP, like saving money on your commission, building recurring revenue, you know, having access to over 50 trainings a week in EXP world. So there's just like a ton of other, there's a ton of stuff they already get. And then now yeah. they get specific agent investor training from, you know, someone doing 
hopefully 100 deals uh, this year. Yeah, hopefully not 99. This And this isn't guru training either. It's not going to be the kind of, hey, you know, kind of half, you know, spiritual motivation, the other half, you know, minor practical advice. This is going to be practical stuff you can implement wherever you are and it's going to work. Um, and we can, the cool thing about it is I'm still learning things every day. So we're just going to be able to keep adding on modules. Like just, I learned two days ago, um, I ran into an estate attorney at the gym and was talking to him about, like, I was like, hey, you know, have, what do you do with these estates, these deals? You know, I know you bring them to agents and, you know, to get them on the market, but is there any way that we could, you know, we could work out you sending them to me? A lot of these estate deals are ugly deals. He said, absolutely. You know, the, my, my goal is always to get the most money for the family and make the transaction as easy as possible. So I'd love to have you look at these. So I now, when I did that, my next thought was, I need to find every estate attorney around here and reach out to them. So that's like part of my day today is reaching out to estate attorneys. Yeah, it's just so cool. You've got so many different ways of generating business, uh, expanding, doing more deals. So I'm excited to you know see how you're able to help people through the EXP platform. Uh, oh yeah, me too. Do this as well. If people want to learn more about joining you at EXP, again, what? How should they? How should they get in touch with you? Yeah, the best way I would say reach out to me like on social media. I'm on there a lot doing because I communicate with a lot of agents on there. Um, email is a great way to reach out to me. Uh, my best email is matt at chesshousehunters.com, spelled C H E S househunters.com. Um, so either one of those ways is probably the best way to get a hold of me. All right. Well, thank you so much for being on the show today. And, and, uh, for, for the second time I might add, and again, if you haven't heard the first one, go back, watch, listen, uh, episode one forty nine, And, uh, as always, thank you for tuning in and watching and listening. Please leave us feedback, leave a review of the show and uh, share it with other people that you think would get value from it. We'll see you next time. Thanks everybody.